Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, creating change in Denver, Colorado. It's Task Force TV here at Creating Change 2015 in Denver, the National Conference for LGBTQ Equality. I'm hanging out with Evangeline Weiss. She's with the Racial Justice Institute, an all-day extravaganza here at the start of Creating Change. You guys have been pretty busy today, haven't you? Yes, we have been working hard. We've had um, people of color and white people and multiracial and mixed race folks talking about how to bring a racial justice lens to the work that we do in the LGBT movement. I mean, seriously, there's been programs all day with you guys. Uh, I mean, it, it, we can't sit here and re talk about them all, but what were some of the, the major points that were kind of talked about, discussed, and uh, the work that people are going to go out there and take with them and go do? Sure. So one of the things that we teach in the Racial Justice Institute is the cycle of how we are socialized into our experience of race and racism in the United States. So we talk about how we're born into a system that's already in motion, and then how do we make sense of the ways that we're socialized. I, Of course, I'm a white person, so I'm going to spend some time reflecting on how did I learn about what it means, what race means, what does it mean to be white, what does it mean to interact across lines of race. Um, other things that we focus on, for example, we had a breakout session about organizational change and how to make change in my organization so that the organization can function with more of a racial justice lens. We had a breakout session about race in trans and gender queer communities and how race plays out there. Um, there are a lot of times spaces where race can become a very black-white con conversation and so we try to create space for multiracial people and biracial people to also have a voice and to also be able to talk about what it means to have um, mixed heritage. So those are some of the kinds of things that we work on. And explain how important this is because really, I mean, let's just look at the headlines over the past year. I mean, this is something that affects the whole country. Absolutely. Um, the task force has been really committed to um, lifting up the issues around the murders of uh, trans women of color in particular. But with all of the violence that we're seeing in the LGBT community, I think it's really important for um, not just people of color violence, but also for white folks to be able to understand, like, what, what can I do in my organization? What can I do in my community to raise the awareness? about the violence that we're seeing. Um, so I think it's really important, and there's actually a lot happening at Creating Change this year to put the focus on race. So the Racial Justice Institute happens every year, and this year we had twice the numbers that we've had in the past. So we had close to 800 people in the room today, which was amazing. The, that means one in, five, one in four participants at Creating Change is someone who went through the Racial Justice Institute. And let's face it, it your Aldi Institute kicked off the festivities this week here at Creating yeah, Change. and everyone, the, the organizers were amazed, like everyone turned up the first day to take part. Yeah, we had a really full room. We have a 22-person training team of folks who represent lots of different gender expressions and lots of different racial identities. And um, it's a really impressive group. We work with the Jamie Washington Consulting Group. So the task force partners with Jamie and his team to put on the show because it's too much for one or two people to do by themselves. Absolutely. Great stuff. And uh, now that everybody can be here to take part in the discussions all day. So wherever they are around the country, how can they help out, how can they get involved? Well, it's really important to go to our website, www.thetaskforce.org, and check out the um, actions that we're talking about. There's an online organizing academy where people can learn more about organizing skills and racial justice. And also there's a resource center where all of the things that we taught in the Racial Justice Institute are available to download. Perfect. All right. Well, at least you got your busy day out of the way first, right? That's true. <laughs> now it's Very like good. I can uh, breathe. There you go. Evangeline, thanks so much and great work. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Take it easy. All right, we've got lots more to come here at Creating Change 2015, so keep it with us here at Task Force TV. Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, Creating Change in Denver, Colorado.